Okay, so now we want to find the second derivative of this function here. And we're going to have to do implicit differentiation here. So I'm going to do the derivative twice. So here we get 2x, nothing too exciting about that, plus 3y squared times the derivative is equal to 0. And so if I rewrite this, I know that the derivative is equal to negative 2x, if I subtract this over, divided by 3y squared. So that's the derivative, but I'm looking for the second derivative. So in order to find the second derivative, I have to take the derivative again. So take the derivative of 2x, it was just 2. Plus, well, when I do this derivative, I have to do the product rule. So, when I do the product rule, I'm going to go 6y times the derivative of the inside function, dy dx, times dy dx, plus, well, 3y squared times the derivative of the derivative. That is the second derivative derivative. Okay. This is the second derivative. This is the derivative squared. They're not the same. And that still equals zero. I'm looking to solve for this. If I rearrange this, I know the derivative is this value here. And so I'm going to plug that in to here. So I know that 2 plus 6y times the derivative is negative 2x 3y squared squared, there's two of them, plus 3y squared times the second derivative equals 0. And so if I simplify this, I know I have 2 plus, well, this is 6y times 4x squared over 9y to the fourth plus 3y squared d squared y dx squared second derivative is zero. Cutting this up I know that cancels and becomes a 3 that becomes a 3 and that becomes a 2 and so I have 2 plus 8x squared over 3y cubed, and I'll subtract this over, equals minus 3y squared times the second derivative. Oh, tied it up a little bit, times the second derivative. So now I have to solve for the second derivative. And the second derivative, divide by this. So the second derivative is equal to 2 over minus 3y squared plus 8x squared over 3 3y cubed times 1 over negative 3y squared. Finishing off the algebra here, I get 2 over, oh, so negative 2 over 3y squared minus 8x squared over 9y to the fifth. And that there is the second derivative. So to recap, you take the first derivative, solve for it, and then you take the derivative again. Now, to do the second derivative, I could have done it differently. I could have started from this one. And when I did my derivative, I would have done quotient rule. And when it's all said and done, I will end up the same. So there's two different ways we could do it. Let's try another example. We wish to find the turning points. Well, 
That's another way of asking for setting the derivative equal to zero. Okay, so let's find the coordinate of the turning points. So we have to take the derivative of this thing. It's defined implicitly, so we're going to differentiate as such. So 3y squared times dy dx plus product rule. So the derivative of 3x is 3 times y squared plus 3x times the derivative of y squared is 2y times dy dx minus 3x squared is equal to 0. I'm going to solve for dy dx. When I solve for dy dx, let me see if I can do this. I got dy dx. I'll factor it out here. I get a 3y squared plus a 6xy equal to minus, because on this side of the equation, 3y squared plus 3x squared. And so dy dx is equal to minus 3y squared plus 3x squared over 3y squared plus 6xy. And if I simplify that, divide everything by 3, I get minus, or how about we go, minus y squared plus x squared over y squared plus 2xy. Now, we, this is the derivative. The question is asking us for turning points. That means the derivative equals 0. To solve this equation, that means minus y squared plus x squared is 0. So x squared is equal to y squared. So x is equal to plus or minus y. So we have to now use x equal plus or minus y. We are asked to find the coordinates of this curve. Well, let me take this, move it down here so I can work with it. Okay, so now I know in order to have this thing work, our turning points exist when x is equal to plus or minus y. So every x in here I'm going to make a plus or minus y. Let's do the plus, let's do x equals a positive y. So I'm going to put that into here. So y cubed plus 3y times y squared minus y cubed equals 27. Well, those cancel. And so I have 3y cubed is equal to 27. y cubed is equal to 9, and so y is equal to the cube root of 9. That's if x equals y. We're going to do the same scenario. So this one coordinate of the turning point is the cube root of 9, comma, the cube root of 9. The other coordinate, we are going to let x equal minus y. So x equals negative y. And so it's y cubed plus 3 times minus y, y squared, minus minus y cubed equals 27. And let's simplify this. So y cubed minus 3y cubed plus y cubed equals 27, which works out to negative y cubed equal to 27, which is y cubed equal to negative 27. So y is equal to negative 3 is the cube root of negative 27. And so the other coordinate point 
is going to be y is negative 3 and x is 3 when I plug it into here if y goes negative negative 3. So in this case we have two coordinates or turning points and they are here. So in order to do this we took the derivative set it equal to 0 came up with this condition between x and y solve for both of them and we end up with these two coordinates.